just at uh, Sandy Hook at the uh, uh, south end of Ile de la Madeleine, uh, July, uh, June 28, 1996. The time is 15.07. We're flying at uh, 350 to 400 feet at 70 knots. And we're just flying at the seaward edge of the sand flats. If you come along the, uh, the uh, east side of Sandy Hook, you can see that the, there's a, a bit of a dune ridge uh, along the back, but a uh, major dune is on the other side. Uh, the beach is uh, probably about uh, very, if there's a big blowout, it's very wide, and then it narrows that uh, main part of the dune line. Then at seaward to that is a series of uh, sandy uh, dune ridge uh, bars uh, running diagonal and at, uh, at various angles uh, to the shoreline. Then there's a series of linear ridges uh, bars where we're flying right now. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, five or six of them that sort of uh, uh, mark the secret extent of the uh, sand flat and the, and the shallow area. As we come across um, the harbor entrance, you'll see the difference as we switch from the sand to the rock. Coming up into the uh, entrance to the harbor of um, at Cap Ridley and uh, on sa cadet. Uh, we'll just get a view looking uh, back. We're coming in to the harbor mouth and uh, coming around. Getting a view of the uh, complex uh, bar nature, uh, the complex bars off the uh, east side of Sandy Hook. And as we swing around, uh, we'll get a better view of the uh, harbor entrance uh, to Petite Bay, and uh, we'll go back into the bedrock uh, shoreline. get a view of the, uh, the sand flat and the sand uh, deposits that are extending into the harbor mouth and uh, probably causing some navigation problem. The time is uh, 15.11. Just at 600 feet. Uh, lowering our elevation down to about 400. We're going to travel along shore, uh, along the de Plaisance, and uh, the net transport, of course, is towards uh, Sandy Hook. And uh, we're just going by the uh, headland. Uh, the beach itself is uh, cobble boulder uh, rock outcrop at the uh, low tide level. There's an old wharf or structure going across it. Going across the front of this uh, town, the beach is uh, mixed sediment and sand, and there's riprap along the edge of the road. 
time is uh, 15.12. And we're switching more into a pebble beach over uh, some sand in the lower foreshore. Uh, there's uh, turbid uh, waters along the east side. Uh, there's some slope debris coming down the uh, cliff face and then the, uh, the actual uh, upper beach is mostly uh, bedrock uh, with talus. Um, getting into some of the, uh, the uh, volcanic rocks here. Um, And uh, just as we come to the uh, end of this uh, part of the shore, we get into more bedrock uh, and uh, unconsolidated sediment. It looks like uh, possibly uh, sandy material uh, colored with uh, at the top. Field uh, of uh, land uh, was not glaciated, and I'm not sure whether this is uh, old glacial deposits or not. As we come into the next section of the um, of the beach, we're just on the uh, other side of uh, Le Passin, and you get a. Uh, a rather large rock outcrop uh, with sand uh, along it. The, uh, the beach itself is uh, populated much more than we've seen elsewhere in the just back of the primary dune ridge and then in the uh, just seaward of the primary dune there's new vegetation growing. Um, Barum uh, primarily and then the beach itself has a fairly well developed berm uh, and then there's welded bars attached to the shore. Uh, there's uh, some boardwalks that have been extended out to the beach. And then we're getting just into the area now where there's a lot of old beach ridge complex uh, in Dune de l'Est. Dune de l'Est. And you see the trees are, uh, are lined, aligned along the old beach ridges. Vegetation, wetland vegetation, and then uh, 
and all the uh, dune ridge. This is more a progradational beach and there's several dune ridges uh, being built up. Uh, and so, because it's progradational, you don't get that scarf like you did on the other side of the, uh, of the uh, island. And you get more um, dune growth and new vegetation being uh, established along the seaward side of the dune. And the beach itself is uh, not as uh, wide here. It's probably uh, oh, a little over 100 meters wide. Uh, and uh, a lot of it is uh, underwater at the uh, high tide. The uh, high tide line is the uh, wet line at the base of the dune. And we're just at low tide now. Uh, we're picking up uh, a bar just offshore. It's uh, crescentic, but an irregular crescentic uh, form. And then the inner bar, uh, which is pretty well attached at low tide. You can see there is uh, 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 a feature on the lower beach, uh, which has rips that have been coming up, forming on the carrying water back, so there's sort of a uh, uh, ridge and rental topography, you might call it. Uh, it's uh, 1519, and we're just going along to the north on the east shore. Uh, looking over at Havre or Bass, and we're following uh, Dune de l'Est. Uh, this used to be an inlet uh, back, uh, it was closed by 1952, but it's opened and closed several times between 1700s and 1900s. There's actually a couple inlets in this area. You can see where the uh, washover occurs and the road is uh, forming a causeway that has blocked the, uh, the old inlet. As we come uh, further north, uh, we're getting into what looks like uh, vegetated old washover or sand flats. Uh, some of them have some curves on them, so it uh, may have been an old, uh, the edge of the old inlets uh, that uh, were here. The, between the road, the highway, and the uh, beach, it's uh, low, uh, multiple dune ridges, uh, progradational features. And then the Merrim extends right to the uh, high water almost, and it's uh, quite a progradational uh, structure. The beach has a um, variety of, uh, it's, it's fairly wet on the back shore, so it's uh, almost uh, totally covered by water at uh, some times, and then it has intermittent uh, ridges, there are ridge and rental topography all along it. The offshore bar is crescentic, uh, but with uh, variable wavelength. As we approach the northern end of the uh, of this dune complex, uh, we get more scarping uh, of the four dunes. Uh, much denser uh, marim vegetation in the back shore, though, and we'll just cut across a uh, narrow section, and the time is uh, 1521. Looking along shore, we've got the uh, Crescentic Bar about uh, 200 300 meters offshore, and then at the beach itself, uh, it's a more modern slope. Uh, a bit of pebble in it. And then the, uh, the ridge and rental topography. Then the single linear uh, dune ridge uh, with Merrim in the back. And then in the back shore here, you're picking up older uh, washover deposits and uh, sand flat deposits that have been vegetated and uh, have uh, ponds and uh, lagoon sediments now. And we're flying at 400 feet at uh, just under uh, 20 knots. Coming across, there you get a view uh, looking northward. And you get a sense of a few older low ridges in behind. But there's the one uh, large 
Fort Dune Ridge that has uh, been cut into more along here, it's more uh, uh, more of a scarf uh, on the seaward side of it than we've seen farther down the shore. And then the main bar. Towards the north, uh, La Martinique, um, we've got um, uh, a very popular recreational beaches, the boardwalks. Uh, there's a front end loader down there doing something, I'm not sure what. Um, the singular uh, dune ridge. Just about to join uh, the main island of Capo uh, uh, Mul, um, you see that there's riprap and the road is closed off the old inlet that used to be there. It was uh, closed off by man in the 50s. There's riprap all along the road, and uh, as we get uh, along Anso Estran, Etang, Anso, oh, Etang, towards Cap Rouge. Uh, we pick up another uh, sand beach uh, fronting a uh, bedrock uh, outcrop and several residences all along the beach. Um, some of them actually put riprap in front of their cottage. In fact, some of them are actually lower than, uh, almost low, lower than high tide. There's a slight small outlet there uh, into that small pond and then uh, more cottages, more riprap. And then uh, the people that are living on the rock oak crops are probably a little better off. Coming by um, another small bear schwa, uh, Laco Canard, and uh, heading towards Cap Rouge. Uh, the inner uh, Bay is uh, sand ridge and runnel, uh, a sand flat, uh, very shallow, uh, and the back shore as we reach uh, Cap Rouge is a low bedrock uh, promontory. sand beach. Uh, the sand has been built up against the edge of the bedrock and uh, there's several sea kayakers out in the water right now. The beach itself has uh, several swash lines and they only deposit right up to the shore. As you come around to the uh, next peninsula, uh, Point de a Coucherie, um, again a bedrock outcrop and uh, This here is a cut bait. And 
And our time is uh, 1527. We're just coming up to uh, Capo Moo. And uh, we're just around Anse Leslie. Uh, we traveling at uh, 300 feet and uh, 60 knots. Again, we're picking up the sand beach as uh, built up against the edge of the cliffs. Uh, the cliffs themselves are probably 5, 10 meters, and you see some artificial uh, uh, a shore protection material put in some of the uh, valleys that have been cut by the waves. As you come around the harbor itself, uh, you get into a different uh, rock outcrop and, uh, and more riprap that outlines the harbor. Uh, much of the harbor stone is at uh, uh, Dollard Rock, I believe. Uh, they're uh, artificially made cement structures that are uh, put in uh, to uh, form the uh, break wall for the ship. This is going by the main uh, harbor at Kepelman. And we're just getting a view looking back towards uh, the, the main marina. Uh, 1530, we've just cut across uh, Avro Maison and the main uh, entranceway to the lagoon. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, recurve bridges going around, and that's a uh, artificial opening that's been kept open for some time. In fact, it was open in the uh, 1700s. Going along the main part of um, of um, Point Bass and the um, the other rock outcrop on the east side of uh, the island, you see there's a, a quarry going on, and much of this shore is uh, uh, pebble uh, sand in the lower part. And there's some sand flat and uh, irregular bars just offshore, two or three of them. But at the shoreline itself, it's mostly pebble cobble. And then uh, cliff uh, material right up to almost the top where there's a bit of unconsolidated sediment. Coming by Ilo Maison and the uh, Point Bass uh, uh, Wharf area, you can see it looks like they've quarried a lot of the rock away, and the shoreline itself is mostly cobble and pebble. And there's a free face in the back shore of uh, sandstone, uh, bedrock. And as we come out to the point, uh, navigation light at uh, Cap All Right. I believe it's Cap All Right, and uh, then we'll head northward uh, towards uh, the uh, northern Tombolo.
going across the front of Boot Ballet. Uh, there's, uh, the relief here is in the order of uh, probably uh, 300 feet uh, or more. Uh, a high rock uh, promontory uh, grazing on the back shore. Some rock stacks in the uh, in the lower foreshore and uh, bedrock outcrops. The beach itself is cobble, pebble, boulder, and uh, there's several uh, gullies all through the different kinds of rock. Coming up around the uh, onto uh, Avro Maison and Dune de Sud, we'll just be going by the airport. You pick up the airport and the, uh, the bedrock outcrop. It's um, 1533. Along this section, there's uh, a very low floor dune, uh, an erosional scarp on it. And in the back shore, there's a low-lying uh, dune and dune vegetation. And as we come into the Avro um, Maison, we get into a very large progradational dune ridge complex. Um, along here, there's. Uh, several uh, dune ridges now. We're picking up uh, a main linear ridge that is uh, prograded and then an older four dune ridge that has a lot of blowouts in, in the back shore. And then a whole series of dune ridges uh, and beach ridges farther uh, landward. The feature is much wider than we've seen in some of the other areas and the, uh, the fire complex there's uh, at least uh, an irregular, uh, almost transverse dune uh, bar or cut face bar uh, complex. So what we've got is a whole uh, massive uh, dune and beach complex. Uh, we've got the progradational new four dune, the older blow dune complex, and then a series of beach ridges. And we'll just cut across now and you get a profile view of the uh, of the setting. Uh, what we've got, uh, looking back, are rip currents, uh, percentage to transverse uh, near shore bar, almost welded right on shore, fairly narrow, uh, steeper beach slope, um, and then a, uh, a four dune ridge is fairly linear uh, in shape, and then a, a much more eroded uh, dune complex. Time is uh, 1536. Swinging back around, you've got um, another view of um, the area of Havre Maison and the Beach Ridge Complex. There you get a view is actually one of the uh, wind uh, um, devices. And there's a bar welded on shore, then a second bar about uh, 500 meters or less just offshore, but it's not as well defined as we saw on the west coast. <laughs> 